Hello and welcome. In today's video I will show you how to set up your Android device with the Unity, Unity Remote app, so you don't have to build each and every time, sell it on your phone so you can run it directly on your Android device. First thing what we're going to do is we're going to go into Edit, Project Settings, you want to go to the Editor, and you want to change the Unity Remote device to the any Android device. First of that, then actually you need to go into your preferences, go to the external tools, and I will delete this because it will be. So I'll just copy this. Um, this will be blank for you by the default so we'll blank it on myself um, so what you want to do is uh, target the Android SDK and JDK I actually don't know if JDK is necessary but first thing um, you need to have the Android Studio where is it because with the Android Studio you get the Android SDK tools, everything you needed. So just go ahead and download the Android Studio with everything it gives you, and you will be having the right tools. So the next thing in the Android SDK, I will actually give you the links for everything down below. In the Android SDK, you want to hit browse on the now I'm on the Mac, so you go users, your username, library. Android, select the SDK folder and hit choose. And this is it for the Unity part. And now we are going to switch to our Android. Okay, so back in your Unity device, I mean your Android device, you want to hit the Play Store. Yep. And you want to go into your search bar, you want to write in Unity, Unity Remote. And you will be given these two apps, Unity Remote 4, Unity Remote. Now, this one doesn't work. It has never worked for me, and I don't know. But you will go ahead and download the Unity Remote, which looks like this. You will hit Download and Install. As soon as you do that, you will plug in your device to the your computer. As you can see, it is connected and you will be prompt allow access to device data you will hit allow the next thing you're going to do is go into your settings mode you will scroll down to the about device and you will go into your software info you will hit build number i believe seven times you will be prompt with the developer mode has uh, has been turned on for me it already has been turned on so I will go back into the main settings, developer options, on, OK. And in here you will want to enable the USB debugging. And you will be prompt, will allow USB debugging, blah, 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 you will hit OK. And you will be prompt, will allow access to device data because it reconnected it. You will hit allow again. And that's it for this part. Yeah, okay, so this is it for the phone. What you want to do now is open your remote app. It will be looking like this. And you will just leave the screen on. Okay, so see you back in the game in the Unity. Okay, so in your on your PC you will be prompt with the phone data window you want to go ahead and close that up and the next thing you want to do is having your phone connected with running the unity remote app we will just go ahead and hit play and hopefully it should work I will show you both displays at the time and it is working let me can I rotate this to show you which is the DX axis as you can see oh my phone is locking as you can see it's working 
and this is it for this tutorial if you have any more questions about Android and Unity feel free to comment don't forget to help this video by liking it and if you want you can subscribe for more videos like this stay tuned and be awesome